revealing the top 10 craziest new secrets you missed in the amazing digital showcase. Hello person who decided to watch this video. A couple of months ago, I made a video all about how I was worried about the future of a certain video on YouTube. A video that, uh, yeah, if you were to sit down and draft up a things popular on the internet in 2023 tier list, now that 2023 has been thrown out the window, it wouldn't just float around in S tier or even S plus tier, that god no. It would be all the way up here. Of course, I'm talking about the amazing digital circus. This video all about a jester cosplaying Kurt Angle, it needs no introduction. We all know what it is. For God's sake, it's got over 200 million views. 200 million! That's more views than the entire population of the place where I live. And it's because of this just insane popularity that a couple of months ago, when I first laid eyes on the amazing digital circus and made my video on it, if you watched it, hey, thank you, I appreciate you. If you didn't, well, I, I know what you're going to be doing after you get done with this video. I knew that there was a bloody good chance that at some point in the future, I'd be sitting down in front of my camera and recording a video about how my predictions came true. And here we are today. I'm, I'm sitting down in front of my camera and recording a video all about how my predictions came real. Because let me tell you, person watching this video, all of my worries in my previous video, I was right. It's, uh, haha. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, it's not looking good. Good lads. I've seen things. <laughs> I've I've seen horrible things. I mean, the least you could do is subscribe to my channel. But you see that number? We're really bloody close to 150,000 subs. So yeah, I think you should click on that big red subscribe button. And also, while you're down in that section of my channel, join my Discord server. And oh, actually, one more thing. Tell me, person watching this video, do you like space and rocket ships and bold men? Well, then I reckon you should check out today's sponsor, Star Trek Fleet Command. Set in the ever-expanding Star Trek universe, Star Trek Fleet Command is an open-world free-to-play MMO where you can recruit iconic characters like Spock and Captain Kirk and send them off into the galaxy to remind those disgusting aliens that it was in fact man who was made in God's image. But that's not all. Now, God, no. A whole bunch of brand new content's been added to Star Trek Fleet Command recently. Inspired by seasons two and three of the show, allow me to introduce to you Star Trek The Next Next Generation, a content drop featuring characters like Trip Tucker, a charismatic quick-thinking engineer, Officer T'Pol, a stoic logical Vulcan science officer, brand new Star Trek Enterprise themed missions, and a whole bunch more. So if you want to join me in scouring the Star Trek universe, head on down to the pinned comments of this video, click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and download Star Trek Fleet Command today. And hey, I'll even throw in a promo code for you. If you enter the promo code WARPS speed on the official Star Trek Fleet Command website, you'll get your hands on a whole bunch of different rewards. Download Star Trek Fleet Command today, and who knows, maybe one day you and me will come across each other in the vast expanses of the cosmos. You won't win. You won't win. Now, before we delve too far deep into the void of pain and misery, let me give you a little bit of a TLDR here for a second, you know, just to catch you up to speed. Basically, in the video I made a few months ago all about how I was worried about the future of the amazing digital circus, my main worry or concern or whatever you want to call it was thanks to external third-party factors that the really bloody talented developers and creators and everybody else involved in the production of the amazing digital circus have no control over. Thanks to those factors, the overall larger internet's public opinion surrounding the amazing digital circus takes a completely undeserved nosedive. And that the creativity and uniqueness surrounding the amazing digital circus gets replaced with something... something that isn't. Because, as we all know, when something gets popular on the internet, especially with children, it happens. Content farms making god awful videos, horrible YouTube short, terrible rip off games. Shit I can't even show in this video because if I did it would send my video to the shadow realm. And here we are today, besides things like memes getting popular, which is fine, I've got no problem with that, and <laughs> MatPat game theory making a, uh, well, <laughs> uh, look at 
Pomni in the center, the exact position that Jesus is in for the painting. And notice the colors of Pomni, red and blue. Wouldn't it be weird if, oh wait, never mind, Jesus is also dressed in red and blue. You to say that some people online have looked at the insane popularity of the amazing digital circus and created some of, some of the worst monstrosities I think I've ever seen in my 22 years of roaming the surf so they can try to, try to mooch, get a mere waft, a slight little sniff of its success. I think that's one of, uh, nah, actually no, not one of, I think it's the biggest understatement ever uttered in human history. Yes, my little piggies, the slop trough is full. <laughs> and, and my god, does it sting. <laughs> Welcome to the top of the slop, YouTube Shorts. Now, I don't really think I need to sit here and make some long-winded this is what YouTube Shorts are iceberg or anything, because, I mean, come on, person watching this video, it's YouTube Shorts, you know? YouTube Shorts. We all know what they are. It's that section of YouTube all filled with videos that all end with, and that's why Reddit, am I the arsehole text to speech things that go something like, I just struck a family of five while driving because I was playing Geometry Dash on my phone. Am I the arsehole? And of course, videos for children. Yeah, let's dig into the short section of YouTube here for a second person watching this video. As we all know, YouTube shorts, they're a cheat code to get big on YouTube. If you want to get one of these things, you know, a YouTube play button, you know, see this thing, an oversized paperweight, all you need to do is upload YouTube shorts for like two minutes. It's fucking ridiculous. So let's take this YouTube shorts cheat code and combine it with another YouTube cheat code. Making videos for children. YouTube has a massive audience of children after all. I mean, I don't know, don't know if this is a hot take or anything, but I reckon that kids are the biggest audience on YouTube. Regardless of whether or not they watch videos on mommy's Cheeto covered iPad or say that they were born in 1847 to dodge age restrictions, YouTube is filled with children. And as a YouTuber, you can make a shit ton of money and gain millions and millions and millions of subscribers off of kids. So when you combine YouTube YouTube shorts with the YouTube kids market, all I can say is congratulations, my brother. <laughs> You've won! You've won it, YouTube! And, oh my god, combining YouTube shorts and the slop that is modern day kids content, oh. Oh my god, person watching this video, I'm not even gonna describe it, I'm just gonna show you. Let me tell you the story about how I first became aware of AIDS like please choose heaven or hell, thief Jax or baby Pomni, the amazing digital circus, my person watching this video. See, you see, it wasn't me who first discovered all of these videos because, <laughs> well, would you believe me if I told you that as a 22 year old man, I don't really go searching out for these videos out of my own free will? Nah, it was actually my friend Reagan who first found them. And when he did, he sent them to me. Probably Probably with a bunch of skull emojis next to the link. He spread this disease to another person. And ever since then, all I've been seeing on my YouTube page is YouTube shorts like these. He's broken my YouTube even more. The comments, uh, I don't know, Regan is a silly little goblin to help me get through these troubling times. But more interestingly, after watching a few of these videos, Regan and me, we noticed that the, let's call it YouTube YouTube Shorts Amazing Digital Circus Plague Rabbit Hole, we notice that it isn't very surface level. Then that god no, it's actually pretty damn deep. All right, person watching this video, put on your detective hat and pull out your notepad. It's time to get serious. Besides this content just being god awful and maybe possibly perhaps in the realms of Elsa Gate, I mean, trust me, half of the stuff I've watched I can't even fully show in this video. Reagan and I, we have this game theory that lots of the channels we've found who make these types of shit videos, we think that that they may be run by a massive singular entity. That or this genre of content is just filled with people copying each other. Like here we have two of the main players in the Amazing Digital Circus YouTube Shorts content niche. Two channels called Plaktoons and Nettoons. 
Is that fucking Mr. Beast? When I tell you that these channels make almost identical videos, I wish it was lying, but I'm not. The animation styles and the character models in these videos are identical. The background music, topics and themes in these videos, they're identical. What happens in these videos and the locations where these things happen, they're 90% identical. Like, let me put two of these videos on screen side by side. This is basically the same video. But let's dig even deeper. Here we have both channels' about sections. You know, that section of a YouTube channel where all of us tubeubers can put down our emails and social media links and all of that type of stuff. We'd like to bring funny animation and cartoon movie and laughter time to the audience the most. We'd like to bring Minecraft animation, cartoon movie and laughter time to the audience the most. Huh. Hmm. Let's connect the dots here. Animation style the same. Character models the same. Themes and locations the same. The about sections the same. Channel names basically the same. I think we can assume that these channels are run by the same entity. But now another question comes up. Who is this entity? I don't know yet. But what I do know is that looking at this entire picture, we're dealing with something that isn't anything new. Ah, God, no. Yes, again, we're dealing with... No. To expand the knowledge in your brain here, a content farm on YouTube is a YouTube channel that's owned by a massive corporate entity or organization designed to serve one main purpose. Make money. To do this, content farms, they spam upload 25 million awful videos a day. They try to hop on trends to mooch over their success. Whatever they can do to make more money on YouTube, content farms, they'll do it. It's a fact of life and it's all, this is all very, ugh, disgusting. And what's another fact of life is that as more time has gone on and YouTube has become a lot more monetizable, and for God's sake, half of the people who own Lamborghinis nowadays probably make Mr. Beast clone style videos, more and more and more and more disgusting content farms have been popping up left, right and center. And at the minute, one of the main things these content farms are putting in their videos are characters from the amazing digital circus. Because as we all know, once again, when thing gets popular on the internet, get to work. Do not watch the amazing Digital Circus movie at 3am, Evil Pomni attacked us. Who game ended Wednesday at Adams in the amazing Digital Circus? The amazing Digital Circus bought their skibbity toilet animation. What I thought was going to happen a few months ago, it's happened. Characters from the amazing Digital Circus have become a staple with these slop shit videos. No matter which content farm you go to, Pomni thumbnail after Pomni thumbnail after Pomni thumbnail. This shit sucks, bro. But you know what? Honestly, seeing all this type of shit, I just feel so bad for the creators of Amazing Digital Circus. I know for certain that if I was in their position, if I was wearing their shoes and I created something I was really bloody passionate about, let's call it the, uh, I don't know, the wonderful online fun fair. But then, a couple weeks later, every single content farm on the face of the earth was including the characters I made in god-awful substanceless videos like the Amazing Digital Circus but in Squid Game and Monster School Skibbity Toilet versus Amazing Digital Circus, I'd be pretty pissed. Like, this shit would irritate the fuck out of me. Like, here's this thing I just poured my heart and my soul into creating. Being exploited by some of the most aged channels on YouTube. And these content farms, they don't care about what they're making. It's not like they're fans making fan videos about the thing I made. Thank God, no. These are corporate entities only concerned with doing whatever they can to add more zeros to the end of their profit statements. What is this person watching this video? Genuinely. I'm like, what? What is this? But what sucks even more is that even if you wanted to, there's nothing you can really do to fight back against these parasites. First off, I've been seeing lots of people online saying that people should just copyright strike these trash videos and get them nuked off the website. Now, I'm not a copyright law law scholar or anything, but knowing how wishy-washy YouTube's copyright system can be. All I can say is if you want to take down these videos, good luck with that, mate. You probably
probably going to get the biggest migraine of your life. And also, it is true that there is this unspoken agreement between all of us YouTubers that we don't go around and copyright each other. But secondly, and more importantly, there's just so many of these content farms. There's hundreds, there's millions of them. And even if one of these content farms were to get taken down of sent to the abyss where it belongs, two more would just pop up in its place. Probably owned by the same entity that just had their other channel taken down. It's that whole if you cut the head off the Hydra analogy. No matter how hard you try, you can't escape them. You'll never get rid of content farms. They're a plague on this website. And real quick, let me tell you about one of the main symptoms of this plague. AI content. As we all know, in the year of our Lord 2024, the rise of the machines has begun. And of course, since AI content is by definition lazy, some of these content farms have started to make AI videos involving the voices of the voice actors in the amazing digital circus. One of these channels is a channel called Pomni Dash Minecraft. I'm not even going to show you the thumbnails of these videos, but this is a certified Elsagate moment. Plain and simple though, in Pomni Dash Minecraft videos, amazing digital circus characters run around in Minecraft. Whoa, 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 holy shit, no, you're telling me that the channel called Pomni Dash Minecraft makes amazing digital circus Minecraft videos? No way. <laughs> but all jokes aside, this happens all while being voiced over by AI versions of the OG amazing digital circus voice actors. Okay, okay, guys, forgive me, I was wrong. Let's go to my house and I'll give you the pants there. Why can't you give the pants back right now? Well, I have something at home, and I want to show you guys something. This is next level scummy. This channel is everything wrong with YouTube. And just seeing all this shit genuinely just makes me so pissed off. It's just, it's, it's just so fucking scummy to do this. You know what? I, I, honestly, I think, I think I need to go play some dumb Roblox tycoon games to calm down or something. But, well, uh, huh? Wait, what? The, hang on. What the fuck is this? You promised my son that you're going to give him free Robux. Yes, person watching this video, ever since my last video on the topic, the amount of rip-off amazing digital circus games, it's just absolutely skyrocketed. Back a few months ago, sure, there were some knockoff games, hashtag we stand with chief, but comparing it to now, this current moment in time, oh my god, it's insane how many rip-off games there are. And if you want to actually play some of these games for god knows what reason well there are plenty of places you can go to like the app store now what i will say is that back a couple of months ago there were one or two bootleg amazing digital circus games that i could find on the app store that one bee hopping simulator and that other i think it was a zombie game called amazing digital circus jack or something i hate how that name is just stuck in my brain but now bro Look how much of this shit there is. The App Store has been infested. There's millions of them. Here's one, the amazing foodie toilet mod. I love downloading Trojan horses. What am I looking at here, person watching this video? Genuinely, what is this? We have the amazing digital circus, skibbity toilet, the back rooms, alphabet law, and next bots. This is a YouTube kids flavored fever dream. Oh, and do you want to know something that I, I absolutely, I just, I, I love I, just, I love it so much when my game's controls bug so I can't look around properly. Game of the year 2024. Here's another app store digital circus game. Creepy, amazing circus escape. Why does this game want to track my identification information? But oh my god, let me tell you something here, person watching this video. If you think the app store's bad, oh, <laughs> oh my god, you haven't seen anything yet. Roblox is a video game platform to ever exist in the entirety of human history. And considering that Roblox is a platform primarily used by the children, you can bet your ass that the plague of amazing digital circus ripoff games, it's spread. And it spread fast. Between me making this video and my previous video, just like on the App Store, the amount of Digital Circus ripoff games, it's absolutely skyrocketed. But here's the weird thing about all of these Roblox ripoff games. Besides my friend Chief still not getting his admin privileges in that one game we played a few months ago, comment hashtag we stand with Chief if you made it this far into the video, I'm willing to bet that 90% of these games, they've got absolutely fuck all to do with the amazing Digital Circus. 
games. No, 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 no. God, no. These games, they're lying on the internet. Here's what I mean. The other night, I was playing through some of these games on stream with all of you guys. The Cult of Beak. And slowly but surely, me and everybody else playing with me started to notice something. We would click on a game with the words Amazing Digital Circus in the title, and then it would load into something that had nothing to do with the Amazing Digital Circus. Like this game, Pomni Clown Clown Emoji Amazing Digital Circus Tent Emoji. Clicking on it, you would think that this is an Amazing Digital Circus game thanks to all of the, you know, Amazing Digital Circus shit on screen. But then, when you load in, uh, huh, th this, this is just a card game. Here's another Natural Disaster Gears Amazing Digital Circus. This is just a Natural Disaster Survival Clone. Why is this a thing? Money. The people who make these massive quotation marks here, amazing digital circus games. They're just trying to prey on the stupidity of children in the hopes that they can somehow get them to steal mommy's credit card. And all jokes aside for a second, once again, I just think that's really, really, really scummy. But what's even worse is that as more time goes on, not just content farms making awful videos and aged YouTube shorts, but all of these terrible games too, the number of them, it's just going to keep on going up and up and up. The plague, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. But no matter how hard they try, they'll never have anything on Seville the Beak. Creation is man's immortality and brings him nearest to the gods. But with all that being said, I can feel my brain melting out of my nose, so I think I'm gonna leave this video here. I swear to god, if I have to look at any more like stupid lanky box and troom troom amazing digital circus videos and terrible YouTube shorts and bootleg games, I I I think my entire brain's gonna melt up my nose and look my brain it's really important <laughs> it's important i need my brain thanks for watching thank you star trek fleet command for sponsoring this video and i'll see you soon number 15 subscribe to the beak if you don't you will suffer a severe case of cringe and you are taking part in bozo behavior thanks for watching